Hello, 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 and welcome to the Bindu Bard YouTube channel where I cover the latest crypto news every day, Monday through Friday. So if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the latest happenings in the incredibly fast moving and crazy crypto space. And to my return viewers, I hope you're doing great. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Unfortunately, the weekend is over and it is now Monday. I have had a very uh, crappy Monday so far. Just felt so unmotivated and tired today. Uh, but here I am doing the video. So if you are uh, getting through Monday, shout out to you. And again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Uh, yeah, we've got some good stuff to go through today, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video, and make sure you're drinking water. Get, get yourself a glass of water, stay hydrated, get a cup of coffee, a uh, Gatorade, whatever it is you do when you watch these videos, start doing it. Maybe you're mowing the lawn. <laughs> That's one I haven't said before, I don't think. Uh, going to the gym, doing dishes, cleaning the house. Had to do a bit of that today with the wife. Uh, lots of chores that needed to be done. But yeah, here we are with the video. And is this not absolutely beautiful? It is green once again on the daily and weekly inflow for Ethereum and for Bitcoin. Uh, despite 13,000 ETH leaving grayscale, the inflows that we had 15,000 ETH go into Fidelity today, uh, and the inflows are just overwhelming the outflows from Grayscale. 44,000 ETH outflow from Grayscale for the week, 33,000 net inflow. Uh, looks like 36,000 ETH inflow to BlackRock iShares, Ethereum Trust for the week, 4,000 for the day. It is absolutely incredible uh, and looks like the ARC21 Bitcoin ETF had 3,000 Bitcoin inflow today in just one day. Uh, that is absolutely incredible. So things are looking very bullish and October does seem to be lining up to be an incredible month for everyone in the crypto space. So shout out to you if you are still here and you've been around. Our time is coming. I saw someone comment. Shout out to you. He said as he watches every video, uh, shout out to him in the comments. Uh, and he said he'd be happy to just break even at this point. He's been in crypto since the start of the bear market. I think you will do more than break even. I think it'll work out. I think it'll work out for everyone who's been here. Uh, things are just getting started. The real the real uh, part of the crypto market is just getting started. We aren't fully there yet, but it is literally like we are getting the engines revving at the starting line and we're about to take off. So I uh, got some good tweets for us to look at here. Lots of different perspectives of what could happen. So the first tweet is from Elja Boom at Elja Boom on Twitter. Bitcoin to 100,000 by quarter one of 2025. It's all in the charts, he says. That would be very, very interesting uh, if that were to happen. And that, if you can imagine, that would be very quick. Uh, that'd be such a quick kind of boom upwards. And as I always say on the channel, uh, things move really fast in crypto. Things change very fast. Uh, so, you know, it can, it can happen in the blink of an eye almost where, I mean, just imagine two weeks ago, three weeks ago, it was so bearish. And then now everything is like we're green on the uh, Ethereum ETF inflows. Everyone is mega super duper bullish all over Twitter and YouTube. Things have changed so fast. So think three weeks from now. Imagine we could be at new all time highs for Bitcoin. Not saying we will, but maybe who knows. Uh, so, yeah, so this this seems to predict a one thousand dollar Bitcoin by quarter one of 2025. I don't know if this is the prediction for the top of the market by Elja Boom, uh, but it's an interesting prediction nonetheless, uh, and take it all with a grain of salt, who knows, uh, but next tweet is from Aurelian Ohion, 
uh, Bitcoin is ready for a huge bull run. So this has us going up to 450k per Bitcoin uh, by about October of 2025. Uh, so. Will Bitcoin go to 450k per Bitcoin in 2025? I don't think so. And I'm seeing the $400,000 price prediction, $400,000 per Bitcoin price prediction said a lot. Uh, I'm not sure what the what the fascination is with $400,000. I don't know why that's the number that I keep seeing everywhere, but I keep seeing it. Uh, I, I would be very, very surprised if Bitcoin goes up that much. Uh, now this is crypto, so who knows? Maybe it happens, but I'm not really betting on it. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that would be absolutely incredible if it does. Uh, I'm just hoping, you know, I'm hoping it breaks 100,000, which I, I think it will. Um, but, you know, it could not. Who knows? There's really no way to know. We'll have to gauge a lot of different uh, factors to determine if Bitcoin has topped or if it is topping. Uh, you know, social interest is Coinbase at the top of the App Store. Is the Bitcoin search trends, is, is it popping off on Google? Is your grandma asking you about crypto? That, those kinds of things. Uh, so there's a lot of things that come together that can allow you to kind of... Uh, hypothesize okay you know we're getting to the top and then what what is bitcoin price around that time and then you know you'll be able to have a good kind of sense for what's going on uh and you know i say it all take it all with a grain of salt it's not going to be that obvious like it's not going to be as obvious as you think um you know it's not like okay just because your relative texts you about bitcoin okay now you should sell uh, you know, they might text you and then a month later the top comes in. You know, you, you start to get signals for a while before, uh, you know, it's at, you know, it's actually there. I mean, even look at, um, look back here in 2022, 2025, the top came in in July and it will, I guess the top was here in, you know, April after April, but July was kind of, we kind of went sideways here at the top for a while. So imagine this whole time Bitcoin is topping. Uh, you know, it went up and made a, set, a double top and like barely broke its all-time high. But as it was topping here, I mean, this was just months of of time to be like, oh, this is the top. Um, when you look at something like 2017, uh, you still had like a month or two where it went up, came down, went back up again, uh, where you could say, okay, this looks like, you know, in hindsight, it's 2020. Uh, talking about 2020 vision, not... 2020 the year but hindsight is 2020 and in, in the terms that in the way that we can see that the chart obviously topped here but imagine you didn't have all this downward action right here this would actually look like another correction like a falling wedge i could see how people would be like oh this is a falling wedge uh correction before bitcoin blasts off to 50k uh, back in 2017 you know i could see people thinking that so you know it's it's always like your your vision is going to be blurred you know where you have emotions i hope <laughs> unless you're like a sociopath listening to this we all have emotions whether we want to or not so it's it's definitely harder than it seems in the moment um but that's why we all have each other that's why you can listen to the bindu bard youtube channel so if you're new again hit that subscribe button uh you can listen to me, you can listen to other people, and you can come and make your own uh, conclusion. Because I recall at the top of the market in 2021, uh, Ivan on Tech, Richard Hart, and Trevon James were three people that I watched that pretty accurately called the top. Richard Hart put out a tweet, basically called it on the day. Ivan on tech was warning that the top was close and Trevon James was another guy who was warning that the top was close and they were saying, Hey, start to take profit guys. This is it. It's coming up. It's coming up. Uh, and every other YouTuber I would listen to big YouTubers out there. They were saying the opposite BitBoy crypto. Ivan on or not. Ivan on tech BitBoy crypto, Lark Davis, Altcoin daily, uh, Windio, all these big, uh, big kind of mainstream crypto influencers were, 
we're pushing the narrative of the super cycle. Oh, if you think, you know, the top is in, you're crazy. This is the super cycle. We're going to 100K. I mean, if you don't, if you weren't there, the whole laser eyes, if you see these profiles with red laser eyes on Twitter or whatever, <laughs> that was all about uh, Bitcoin going to 100K. It was everyone put laser eyes on your profile uh, until Bitcoin hits 100K. And then, of course, uh, it didn't. So I say all this to say, you know, to my point, listen to other people. Don't just listen to me. Listen to other people. Gauge the sentiment um, and, and try to keep your emotions in check. But yeah, so moving on, I've got another Bitcoin kind of price prediction here from the at the scalping pro on Twitter. Historically, Bitcoin bull run has consistently started in October during each market cycle. Uh, and all these tweets and articles that I feature are linked in the description. So if you're going into the description, uh, you can check them out. And you can also hit the subscribe button while you're down there if you are new and hit the like button as well. Uh, but yeah, so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, and you can see October 2016, that was literally the start of the parabolic rise. October 2020 and now we are in October 2024 and this kind of upward line chart has Bitcoin going to about 320,000 now again I don't know if this guy's like that's his prediction I'm not really speaking for him and he posted this uh, but you have to take it all with a grain of salt so I, I thought it was interesting here's three you know Bitcoin kind of bullish Bitcoin posts and they all have different price uh, targets on the uh, the chart and this is kind of what I mean. Listen to a bunch of different people get an opinion. Uh, but again, I'd be surprised if it goes to 300, you know, over 300,000 as well. Uh, anything over uh, 200,000, I think I'll be pretty surprised. Uh, but, you know, again, don't don't just listen to me and say, oh, well, Ben said that. I mean, it, it, who knows? It could go crazy. I, <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, but this is pretty exciting. You know, it, it does. It really does seem like now is when it's starting to really take off. Uh, we're here in October, and I've been saying for months on the channel, October, 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 Q4 of 2024, end of September is when things are going to start kicking off, and we've already seen that. So I hope everyone is ready, and everyone's calling it Uptober. Uh, you know, one thing that's funny is everyone's calling it Uptober, everyone's mega bullish, uh, you know, what if it's actually bearish? What if we have a bearish October? <laughs> I don't want to curse anything. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but, you know, it'd be kind of funny, uh, but in a bad way. And I don't think any of us want that. We want bull market. We want up only. And I mean, look at I mean, look at the chart. We, you get into this mode where it's literally just green candles nonstop. So I think that is what we are headed for. Uh, I think that's what's coming, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And I hope you all take full advantage of the opportunity. Don't forget to take profit. Don't forget to take money and put it into your bank account. Have some kind of plan. Uh, be ready to handle that. It's real money, okay? It is real money only if you take it out. So I think a lot of people in crypto, that they don't feel like it's real you know the money doesn't feel real because it's sitting there in your treasure or your metamask or your rabbi wallet whatever you're you're looking at and you know it's in the form of you know shiba coin or whatever and it says it's worth you know three hundred thousand dollars and you're like oh well it just doubled so if it doubles again then i'll take it out because i'll have six hundred thousand that's a very dangerous way to think uh you know, it doesn't feel real. Like, what other realm of the world would you sit there and look at three hundred thousand dollars in front of you on the table, ready to be taken out? You know, ready to be used on a on a mortgage, on a, a down payment. You know, whatever it is. What other realm would you look at that and say, "Oh, well, it could it could double in value." You know, <laughs> it's so it, it is crazy how your brain behaves differently in this insane crypto market so yeah you know take money off take profit you know it could double but it could also go down to being worth three thousand it could go from three hundred thousand to three thousand or three hundred thousand to thirty thousand that you know thirty thousand still a lot of money but it's a lot less than three hundred thousand so you know there's going to be a time to start taking money out i don't think that time is now 
Um, you know, not financial advice. I could totally be wrong, but I think it will be in 2025, sometime in 2025, you know, throughout the period of things going up and, and uh, everything being bullish and prices ripping. It's, it's the time to take money off the table, take money out of, you know, out of the crypto that you like, you know what I mean? Um, which can feel very hard to do when the crypto that you like just went up 100x, your feelings are like, why would I take my money out of this thing that just, I made so much money, why would I take my money out? It's it's so awesome, obviously, but you have to remember that crypto, no matter how awesome it feels, because it just went up a ton, it, it will go down. It will go down 80%. It will go down 90%. It could double again, but at some point, it's going to go down 80%. It's going to go down 90%. And no matter when you take profit, it's not going to feel good. It's always going to feel bad. So whether you take profit and it goes up a double or you wait and it goes up a double and you don't take any profit and then it goes down 20%, you're still going to feel bad selling then. Like it's it's just it's just how it is. So uh, it's a very weird thing. And if you haven't experienced it, hopefully my words uh, help you some. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so uh, interesting price prediction here. Uh, but regardless of the price prediction, this is a nice chart showing us the halving, showing us Bitcoin price action after the halving. Uh, and it, we are ready to go. It really looks like we're ready to go. When you look at you know how long it took after the halving for Bitcoin to start taking off, uh, it, it looks like, I mean, we're literally at, at the go zone. It is go time, ladies and gentlemen. So be ready, be excited, because uh, here we are. So another tweet from Elja Boom at Elja Boom ETH to seven thousand dollars by quarter two of 2025. Here's my simple plan: accumulate till the timeline is saying it's dead. Sell when it'll talk about the flippening. Uh, so you know I've already been seeing a lot of people th speculate. You know say that oh ETH isn't gonna pump. Uh, people who are in like Solana or other coins are like, is it, are you sure ETH's going to pump in? Do you really think ETH's going to pump? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, and then he says, sell when it's when people talk about the flippening. What is the flippening? So that is something that's been talked about for a long time. And it's the idea that Ethereum could pass Bitcoin in market cap. Uh, so Bitcoin's number one, Ethereum's number two in terms of market cap. And uh, people like to talk about the idea that Ethereum could flip Bitcoin in market cap. It's never happened. Uh, could it happen? Maybe. Uh, but he, but that could be a top signal is basically what this guy's saying. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. This is the two week, two week candles on this chart. Uh, so we could see weeks of going sideways into the new year. Um, I think ETH will probably start to reverse towards the end of the year into the new year. Uh, we'll start to see ETH pushing for new all-time highs and stuff like that. Uh, and that'll be very exciting. Now, what could ETH go to? So this guy has points to ETH to 7K. I believe ETH peaked at about 5,000 5, per coin last cycle. Um so, you know, could ETH hit 10K per coin? I think so. I think it could. Uh, could it hit more than that? Could it hit $25,000 per coin? Something crazy like that? I really don't know. Um, that would be absolutely insane if it did. Uh, but we'll just have to play it by ear. All this, A lot of this stuff, we'll have to play it by ear in the moment. I would be shocked if it went over 20K, but maybe it does. I really don't know. Don't, uh, you know, take my word for it everything take everything with a grain of salt we're gonna have to live in the moment and see what plays out moving on to this tweet from l crypto prof l underscore crypto underscore prof altcoins with yesterday's weekly close we've probably seen the most important weekly close for altcoins in eight months looks like very strong resistance turns into support uh so it's looking like altcoins uh, this is the total market cap, excluding Bitcoin, one week candles here. So this is the market combined market cap of all coins, uh, excluding Bitcoin. So all coins. And it looks like we were tapping this line. It was a resistance and now it is turning into a support, indicating that an uptrend is starting. And you can kind of see that here back in 2021 when that happened. So hopefully that means all coins are about to take off. That would be very, very exciting. So we will see what happens with that. We will keep our eye on it. We will monitor this every single day. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Uh, and then 
This is an interesting article that I thought was important to bring up. Bitcoin retail activity remains low despite recent rally. So when I'm talking about, you know, paying attention to when, when could Bitcoin be topping? When could the, the bull run be coming to a close? Uh, you talk about social social activity, and here you can kind of see the uh, this uh, chart here of volume of, of retail. Retail investors, the interest of retail investors in retail would just be like any everyday regular person, taxi driver, I don't know, anyone working at working a normal job who doesn't pay attention to crypto at all. The type of people who just, when it comes to money, they're just like, okay, give it to, why can't I just put it in my bank account and let it sit there? Or let me give it to my financial planner who's just going to, you know, get me 2 per, 4% a year, whatever it is, April, I don't know, but... Uh, that's kind of what retail means. I remember when I first got into crypto, I was like, what do they mean retail investor? Like, what does that mean? It's meant to just be, you know, everyday people, a person who isn't normally into crypto, you could think of it. So once you start seeing random people who obviously have no idea what they're talking about, they're brand new to crypto, you know, they're like, oh, I just got into crypto, you know, you'll start hearing it. it'll become like a mainstream topic. It seems like every time there's a top for uh, crypto, all of a sudden, crypto's mainstream. Uh, so, for example, last cycle, Dogecoin was talked about on SNL. Uh, Jimmy Fallon was talking about Board Ape Yacht Club NFTs. Every big, you know, Tonight Show host type uh, person, big celebrity, was talking about crypto. Every random person on the street, you know, it was like a, you know, NFTs. Oh, what's an NFT? It was like your, your aunts and uncles at the family reunion. That's how it was for me. You're asking what an NFT is. They're asking about, oh, what do you think about Cardano? People you haven't talked to in 10 years are like, oh, I heard you're into crypto. What do you think about Cardano? I literally had that happen to me. Like all this, all this stuff like that. Um, so those are big topping indicators and we are seeing nothing like that uh, right now with the crypto market. It's very interesting. We had this big peak up uh, in interest here uh, back when the Bitcoin ETF went live, which is why I think, you know, things are looking a little bit weirder than they traditionally have where you didn't get a big random spike like that. Um Unless maybe way back here in 2019 when Bitcoin ran up from what, like 3K to uh, 10K almost, a little bit over 10K. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're coming down here, we're bottoming out, and I think things are about to take off, and we are going to see this really, really increase. Uh, oh, and here they're talking about the Coinbase app. Um, in the previous crypto bull markets in 2017 and 2021, Coinbase app was ranked number one in downloads versus the current 438. So we are really like, it really hasn't even fully started yet. You know, the real uh, euphoric stage of the bull market. Uh, the amount of Bitcoin owned by short-term holders is approximately 2.5 million tokens, a level typically associated with bear markets. NFT-related gas usage on the Ether network has fallen to 2%, down significantly from its peak of around 40% in 2021. So on-chain shows very little retail life. Investors who bought Bitcoin within the last 155 days are considered short-term holders. This cohort tends to be those chasing the market, buying as the price starts to climb, and history shows peaks tend to correlate with the high uh, short-term holder supply. Uh, so indeed, five recent major tops in Bitcoin going back more than a decade have coincided with peaks in short-term holder supply. This current rally, though, has come alongside a decline in short-term holder supply, suggesting no top as of yet. So that is very, very interesting. So that just kind of indicates there has really, the short-term holders are not here. Retail is not here. Uh, so there is still a ways to go. However, meme coin activity is surging. Uh, these tokens are largely a retail-driven category, according to X account Must Stop Murad, uh, who did a presentation on the subject at Token 2049. Uh, so yeah interesting stuff there another interesting thing here the amount of bitcoin owned by short-term holders is approximately 2.5 million tokens a level typically associated with bear markets uh, so very cool and yeah let's move on to the next article 
$3.4 billion worth of crypto assets set to hit altcoin markets next month, according to Token Unlocks. So these key unlocks include $1.2 billion worth of TIA, $336 million of WLD, and $360 million uh, worth of SOL, and $1.65 billion of other tokens. So... Uh, that could be bearish for these tokens because if if you have these guys getting this value uh, unlocked, it's not like this is new value coming into crypto. Like the value is there. It's just they can now extract it from uh, anyone else who might be holding this token who hasn't sold yet. These guys could come in and just sell the token down uh, from what I'm understanding about all this. Uh, but it's interesting because let's say someone's getting, you know, a bunch of this coin unlocked and they don't want the coin anymore and they want to buy something else. Uh, that means this money can now freely move around and leave uh, these coins that it's been locked in. So that's uh, very bullish. We have the FTX payments coming out uh, this week as well. I think that started today. Uh, but yeah, very exciting stuff. Uh, so yeah, we will keep our eye on that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, uh, article here, NFT sales plummet to lowest monthly volume since 2021. Uh, they dropped 32% from 7.3 million in August to 4.9 million in September. Uh, so I'm wondering, I'm wondering if NFTs will make a comeback. I kind of think they will at some point in the crypto market. Now I'm not really doing any, uh, speculating on nfts in terms of putting my money into some and, and waiting i'm not doing any of that but i do wonder if it was a kind of one and done thing like last cycle in 2020 2021 nfts really blew up and it was this huge big thing like i just mentioned you know they were all nfts were talked about on uh, jimmy kimmel or jimmy fallon or whatever all these tonight shows and it was everywhere um will they make a comeback who knows uh, but it's interesting because this could be this could be a potential bottom signal for NFTs. I don't know, uh, but we'll see. We will see. And then Trump opens KYC whitelist for New World Liberty Financial Crypto Project. Uh, so I don't know if anyone's been keeping up with that. Uh, <laughs> I don't really understand. It's basically you can. Uh, join the list to become an investor in the Trump crypto project, World Liberty Financial. Um, it it's kind of weird. I you know typically DeFi stuff like true DeFi and talking about financial freedom and uh, freedom from banks and everything like that. It's just you know you just get on the blockchain and anyone can participate. Uh, but they're saying that. 63% of it is offered to the public under the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's Regulation D rules. Uh, so I guess he's trying to do everything by the book, understandably, considering it seems like he has somewhat of a regulatory target on his back. Um, you know, I don't really know. I, I'm I'm not, I don't have plans to really participate. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Um, but yeah, just thought I would feature this news, uh, as it came out. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this Monday video. Apologies for being a little low energy. It is Monday. I'm feeling pretty unmotivated today. Uh, but I know it will be a great week and I know you will all have a great week as well. I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, in terms of the hurricane, I've been seeing videos from North Carolina, and it's absolutely insane what, what's uh, going on in the mountains up there. Uh, pretty scary stuff. I hope everyone's staying safe. I heard like a whole highway in Tennessee got like wiped away of uh, Highway 40 or something. There's a highway people had to go through. It literally doesn't exist anymore or something. I saw videos of towns and mountain, little mountain towns in North Carolina that were completely like leveled by this storm so yeah pretty pretty scary i hope everyone's doing uh doing well staying safe uh and again i hope everyone had a great weekend i have uh started posting youtube shorts i've started clipping up these long videos and turning them into shorts so if you want to check that out 
you can on my channel, maybe share the shorts with people. If they're struggling to get into my longer content, you can share, show them one of the shorts and they might get an idea of what kind of content I make and they might become more likely to subscribe and start watching. Or maybe that's just a better form of content for some people. Uh, so you can say, oh, check out this short real quick of this guy talking about, you know, uh, the, the bull market and, and everything going on. Um, so yeah, but I appreciate all your guys support hit that subscribe button. Again, if you are new to the channel, hit the like button and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.